Two years after the worst recession since World War II, the U.S. economy is still struggling. On Friday, the Labor Department reported that just 18,000 jobs were created in the month of June. That is the fewest in nine months. And now the nation's unemployment rate is at its highest point of the year, 9.2 percent. President Obama expressed frustration with the bleak employment picture. Today's job report confirms what most Americans already know. We still have a long way to go and a lot of work to do. Our economy as a whole just isn't producing nearly enough jobs for everybody who's looking. Here to break down these new numbers and what they mean is Deirdre Bolton of Bloomberg TV. Great to have you with us, Deirdre. Hi, Rebecca. So everyone's characterizing this as a terrible report, but the question is why? What made it such a bad month? There's four culprits, if you want to look at it in that number. So manufacturing grew, but at less than half the pace of what was expected. We also, in prior months, Rebecca, had begun to see some signs of life as far as business, professional services. So we're talking about accountants. We're talking mm -hmm. about lawyers, engineers. They, a few months ago, were actually finding jobs. So they still found jobs this past month, but just, again, at a slower rate. Construction, that's not breaking news, right? The housing market still really is a big drag on the economy. You had almost no jobs growth there. But government, this was really the weak spot, eighth straight month of declines. You have governments at local levels, state levels, trying to close these budget gaps. Easiest way to do it is to let people go. Yeah, and what we're seeing is 39,000 government jobs were lost in the month of June. That's something we expect to see continue as well. And you bring up the point, yeah. a lot of local governments are shutting down. In Minnesota, for example, right. those people can collect unemployment benefits starting this month in July. So you might see them in the, in the new numbers. Yeah, and it's just part of this larger picture. I mean, if you and I are working, we're making less than maybe we had already made a few years ago, we pay less income tax, right? Or the value of our house is less, so we pay less tax on our house. All of that adds up. Right, exactly. And it's, it's less for the communal pie and people need to take more out of it as, at the same time. In terms of where we're going, I mean, this is the worst unemployment rate so far this year. Does this mean that the recovery has really stalled? Can we say that yet? I think if there's one thing to take away from this report is the recovery is going to take longer than anybody expected. I mean, you said it's the worst this year. Of, yeah, that's true. Worst, actually, or I should say 29th month in a row. We've seen unemployment above 8%. That hasn't happened since the 30s, so that kind of puts it in context. It's really bad. You heard the president just say, you just played that clip, it's going to take a long time. Billionaire investor Warren Buffett on our show actually yesterday on Bloomberg saying, look, I'm not looking for a second recovery but I don't know how fast this recovery is going to take. And it's been taking a lot longer than lawmakers would like to see. Obviously, we had one round of stimulus already. And you heard the president talking yesterday, as you bring up, talking about what it's going to take down the road. What do you think Washington ultimately is going to do about all of this? Well, it's hard to say. This is an election year. We're coming into election season, we should say, for President Obama. And it seems like a lot of the powder that they were keeping dry, it's already been used, right? We've seen the Fed intervene twice with two big programs. It's not entirely clear. I mean, the one sort of silver lining in all mm -hmm. this, a place for hope, is actually corporate America. They do have cash on the balance sheets. They do have the money to hire, but it's now a question of confidence. If you're the CEO of a company, Rebecca, and you think you're going to have to lay off people a year or two from now, it's going to make you hesitate before you bring on any new workers. Yeah, those $2 trillion is what we're all hoping corporate America will spend on hiring. Thanks. Deirdre Bolton, as always, thanks for being with us. Thanks. We appreciate it.